for people who are extremely sick or just want to do this as quickly as possible um, until you get to the results. And then you keep the hypernourishment, whether you want to just keep a blender smoothie a day or you want to keep the salads going, and then you add other cooked plant-based foods. But for those of you who aren't in an emergency situation, just want to add hypernourishment, then you just add that to a plant-based diet and you can have really great health and energy and still have a pretty, you know, um, pretty good variety of foods. Is this like a lifelong um, protocol that one needs to adhere to or? Well, hypernourishment, yes. I mean, if this is something that can accelerate your body's ability to repair itself and your immune system, it's a wonderful thing to keep on. But pure hypernourishment, no. So sometimes people think of pure hypernourishment like we do in rapid recovery programs where people are only eating the foods their body uses to repair itself. So lots of smoothies and salads, broccoli dipped in guacamole, whatever they can do to get more of those foods in, right? So that is um, for a limited time for people who are extremely sick or just want to do this as quickly as possible um, until you get to the results. And then you keep the hypernourishment, whether you want to just keep a blender smoothie a day or you want to keep the salads going, and then you add other cooked plant-based foods. But for those of you who aren't in an emergency situation, just want to add hypernourishment, then you just add that to a plant-based diet and you can have really great health and energy and still have a pretty, you know, um, pretty good variety of foods. But I'm still, I, I live high raw because I, the energy is fantastic. So I usually do smoothies during the day. And then when I get done here, my nine-year-old usually makes the dinner salad and we have a big salad at dinner. And then sometimes it's just a big salad where he throws like beans and stuff on it. And other times it's a salad where we'll have like a side of potatoes or vegetable soup or something. But the star of the show with the spotlight, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the hypernourishment part of it. And that's what I've taught them. Nourish your cells first, your taste buds second. So um, you don't have to do it that way, but if you stick with a plant-based diet with at least that 16 ounces or so a day of, of greens and the handful of omega-3s and the water intake that I taught you, you're going to keep yourself really resilient and energized and you'll age slower too, which is always fun. <laughs>